Today I woke up at 2 p.m. Don't judge me. I know you guys do the same thing as well. And just like everybody else, the first thing I'd done was open to her. Now I was just scrolling and seeing the usual. But as I continued to scroll, I saw something that I couldn't believe. Free OnlyFans? Oh nah, I'm just joking. I'm talking about Jurgen Klopp leaving Liverpool. On the 8th of October 2015, Jurgen Klopp agreed a three-year deal to become Liverpool manager, replacing Brendan Rodgers. When Klopp took over Liverpool, they were in a terrible state. The season prior, Liverpool were very underwhelming due to not being able to replace the massive loss of their star striker Luis Suarez to Barcelona. They didn't do any better in cup competitions, getting knocked out of the Champions League in the group stage behind Real Madrid and Basel. Even when they dropped down to the Europa League, they lost in the round of 32. And just as a whole team, they were on their decline. To make Klopp's job even harder, Liverpool legend and talisman Steven Gerrard retired leaving a massive hole in the midfield and the club's identity. Liverpool also lost British youngster and golden boy winner Raheem Sterling to Man City as they would start a new project under future rival Pep Guardiola. Now Klopp was left with this team with no transfer budget in his first season and as a result they dropped down two positions from their former season. However on the bright side they managed to reach the Europa League final which they lost despite this worldie from storage. They also made it to the League Cup final which they lost to Man City on penalties but despite these losses and a lower finish in the league, things looked up for Liverpool. The 2016-17 season saw Liverpool improve drastically thanks to the addition of future Golden Boot winner Sadio Mane and box-to-box -box midfielder Wijnaldum. But the most significant player that Klopp signed that season was Loris Karius. These additions, alongside the two Brazilians that were playing out of their mind, saw Liverpool finish in the top four. But once again, they won no silverware. In the 2017-18 season, Klopp added two more vital pieces to his puzzle. The first being the greatest Liverpool player ever, with the most Premier League goals, Mohamed Salah. The second being the first defender to end top three in Ballon d'Or ranking since World Cup winner Cannavaro in 2006, Van Dijk. These signings allowed Liverpool to experience a remarkable resurgence in their style of play, characterised by high-pressing, fast-paced football known as heavy metal football. This heavy metal football got Liverpool to their first Champions League final since 2007. The stage was set and if Liverpool won, they would have been the first English team to win the Champions League since a magical night in 2012. The game was underway, however no one was able to score in the first half. Liverpool received a heavy blow to their chances as Ramos attempted to break Salah's shoulder in the UFC style challenge. But what was to come in the second half was something no one would expect. Carrier single-handedly threw the game away. Not once, but no, twice. This man literally passed the ball to Benzema that was right in front of him. But that wasn't even the worst one. In the 82nd minute, Bale fired a shot at Carrius. The shot was straight at Carrius, oh, but somehow he fumbled and the ball was in the back of the net. You can literally see the shock and disappointment from his teammates. Despite Liverpool's efforts and Mane getting a consolation goal, just like in 2007, Liverpool were beaten. The 2018-19 season saw Manchester City and Liverpool go toe-to-toe -to -toe throughout the whole season, trading first place positions between them. Going into the final match day, Liverpool trailed by one point. Liverpool were set to play Wolves at home and City to play Brighton away. The game's begun and Liverpool were the first to land a blow thanks to Mane putting them ahead. Disaster struck for City as Glenn Murray's header put Brighton ahead and the league looked like it was going to Merseyside. A minute later, Aguero equalised and 10 minutes later they went ahead. City went on to score two more in the second half securing the Premier League and Klopp's title charge was officially over despite Sadio Mane scoring a consolation. But not the same can be said in their Champions League run that season. Liverpool and Klopp would find their salvation and produce one of the greatest comebacks Anfield has ever witnessed. From a 3-0 loss at the Camp Nou in the first leg of the semi-final, Liverpool had a mountain to climb, but their confidence never wavered. It didn't take long for Liverpool to score, thanks to Divo Carigi. And the comeback was officially on. Thanks to two goals in the second half from Wijnaldum, who had come off the bench, Liverpool were just a goal away from making history. Liverpool would be awarded a corner, and a 20-year-old academy graduate, Trent Alexander-Arnold, was taking it. As Barcelona were sorting themselves out, Trent would walk away from the ball, acting as if someone else would take it. But little did the viewers and the Barcelona defence know, Trent would fire the ball into the box, 
straight to Divock Origi, and Divock Origi was scored to win the game. It was a moment of magic that translated through to the final versus Tottenham as they cruised past them to victory. And just like that, in four years, Klopp won the biggest trophy in Europe. This was the defining moment of Klopp's tenure and marked Liverpool's sixth Champions League title. In the league, Klopp and his Liverpool side ended the season with 97 points, the greatest tally for a second place side ever. The success continued into the 2019-20 season, where Liverpool clinched their first Premier League title in over 30 years, finishing 18 points ahead of second place Manchester City and arch rival Pep Guardiola. The following two seasons saw Liverpool and Klopp win two cups but struggle in the league, but not against Manchester United. However, the 2021-22 season did go down to the last game between City and Liverpool. But just like before, City prevailed and Klopp lost the title on the final day to Baldy. Liverpool also made a Champions League final appearance in which they lost. Actually, now that I think about it, if it weren't for Klopp, Baldy over here would have made this league a Farmers League. But getting back on topic, with Klopp's departure at the end of the season, what's next for Liverpool? Odds are saying Xavi Alonso is the front runner for the Liverpool job. He's a former Liverpool player and a current manager of Bayer Leverkusen, who are top of the Bundesliga ahead of Bayern. But what do you think of Xavi Alonso? Do you agree or disagree? Who do you think should be the next Liverpool manager? But there's one thing that can't be questioned. It's Klopp's revival of the sleeping giants in Merseyside, restoring them to their glorious ways. From a team struggling to achieve top four, to winning everything there is to win. Not only has he revolutionised Liverpool, but he has transformed the Premier League into what it is today. Jurgen Klopp will go down in history as one of the greatest to ever do it.